Sometimes mysterious, sometimes painful, almost always embarrassing. Take heed of this warning. These stories of my coworkers will put fear in your heart and may make you never use Facebook again. These are social media horror stories. My name is Ari, I'm 26, and I had a traumatic social media occurrence just this last weekend. I have a friend that thought me and her roommate would be cute. She sent me his Instagram story. It was a nice Instagram story. It's like him playing the guitar. And I responded to her, nice vibe, but not super into the face. What I didn't realize is that I had actually direct messaged him that and not her. <laughs> I was like, oh damn, like I can't believe I said that to him. I was like backpedaling and I was like, oh sorry, didn't mean to send that. Um, you have a great face. And then he responded, ha, huh? exclamation mark, thanks, question mark. <laughs> I feel like this was a good lesson to be really sure that you're sending the message to who you think you're sending it to. When I was in college a few years ago, I went to New York City to visit a friend and we went out to a club and we were drinking. But then we came back to my friend's place and I was very, very drunk and I decided that it would be a great idea to send someone a dick pic. So I took a picture of my penis and I think I'm sending it to this person. So I went to bed and I woke up to realize that this picture didn't go to the person I sent it to. It went to my story on Snapchat. I deleted the picture immediately. I looked at how many people saw it and it was only like 30 something views and like two screenshots. I was in the East Coast, which is a few hours ahead. So when I posted the picture, all my friends were asleep, and when I deleted it, they were probably still asleep. I don't know who screenshot it, I deleted it right away, but whoever did screenshot it, you're a garbage person. And ever since, there's no naked pictures of me anywhere. I don't send them, I don't mail them, I don't email them. I was just drunk and I felt adventurous, and lesson learned, never again. So my social media horror story comes from college. In fact, the last day of college. I wanted to celebrate my last paper of my college career. So I hold out my paper like this. I take a photo of it from back here and post that photo to Instagram. Being the senioritis, spring quarter senior that I was, I decided to take a creative writing class. And so I decided to make a really creative story for my final story for that class, and that was quite risque. And I get right into it on the first page. I uploaded this photo to Instagram thinking nothing of it. People just see a paper with text on it. Then the comments start flooding in about how interesting my story is. To give you an idea of what was on that first page, I'd just like to read you a couple of excerpts. Ajay was stressed out. However, he could feel his dick start to harden. With his left hand, he fiddled with the buckle on his belt while simultaneously craning his right hand to type Pornhub.com into the browser's address bar. I did write a story about a guy watching porn and then artificial intelligence coming from it. And I had to explain why I had a sudden fascination with sex things.